Hey, Port St. Lucie, I'm Michelle Berger, your city councilwoman. I'm out here on the corner of Barroso and Port St. Lucie Boulevard today because we're showcasing our newest art in public places. Really simple way to get it out here and I'm so excited about it. Very inexpensive, but look how awesome it looks. It's our Guy Harvey commission painting and it's out here for everybody to enjoy. It's something that the council has as part of their vision uh, for the next you know, 10 to 15 years to really enhance every spot that is available to the public in any way with art. This is a really simple way to get it done, very inexpensive and very, very pleasing. As part of the city's desire to bring art to public places, the city council authorized staff to move forward with the utility box beautification project. This project is one of many projects assigned to the Neighborhood Services Division. However, it's a collaborative effort of many departments coming together, including planning and zoning, public works, and communications. All of our neighborhood planning projects are funded by the efforts of our citizens contributing to our recycling program. The city has also partnered with St. Lucie County Schools to incorporate some of the art from their students and teachers to feature on some of the wraps around the city. The artwork on the boxes is installed by a vinyl wrapping process as opposed to actually painting on the boxes. This is something that other cities have done, um, as close as Martin County and even Fort Pierce. We expect to be able to wrap up to 50 out of a total of a little over 100 boxes this year. As part of our planning with the schools, we came up with the idea to wrap a traffic cabinet outside of Civic Center with a patriotic themed 9-11 um, memorial type of design. So the students for the schools had a competition where the different schools came up with artwork and then hand painted a traffic cabinet which will be on display at the Civic Center for the 9-11 event. The next phase of the project which is currently not yet funded, we hope to use artwork from local artists to install on the wraps.